Oh, pretty. Is it, is it? Ooh. Oh! No. I mean, this is lovely, right? I mean, this well is... Done, so. Well done. Congratulations, creepy child. You have drawn something for the ages. Look at that mouthful of teeth. <laughs> Psycho by Robert Bloch. Enchanting. It's not enchanting. We're in the dark with a candle. There's nothing enchanting about this. Hey everyone, this is Matt and I'm here with Louise. Hello. And today we've got a spooky treat. Obviously Halloween is past us, but uh, I still think we're allowed to play horror it's games, right? It's been two weeks since we last played a horror game, <laughs> which is fine. So it's, I mean, it's, it's not Christmas yet, so it's fine. It's no. okay. Yeah, but, anything before Christmas and between Halloween. But yes, and if it's your first time on the channel, uh, please hit that subscribe button, we'd really like it. And if you do already subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you know when our next potentially scary video lands. What do we call the not notification bell, Louise? The bell of awakening. That's, that's correct. It's the bell of we awakening, do. but... <laughs> Maybe those Bells of Awakening could play this Song of Horror nice. that we're about to play. That's nice. my connection there. But yeah, Song of Horror is a survival adventure where we're on the hunt for someone who's gone missing. Nasty things happen, it, things go bump in the night. And people have said this is very scary, so I'm quite excited. Yeah, and also I'm glad I'm not playing it. So I'm just going to sit here and be relaxed. Yes. And watch you <sighs> be horrified. Relaxed. I'm not relaxed, but let's see. Horrible box. Yep. It's a good start. <laughs> good start. Horrible, creepy <laughs> box. Oh. Uh, okay. Good. I mean, I do like that desk. Like, I'm not so much scared at the moment as nice slightly envious. Yes, it's very much your aesthetic. Definitely with the black smoke coming yeah, out of the box is yeah, absolutely yeah, your if aesthetic. I get, where, where can I buy one of those? <laughs> There's a uh, prize that I've won there on the wall. Tentacles. Oh, yeah. Oh, crikey! Yeah, I was, I was just. You just missed the tentacles. <laughs> We can st start throwing in puns like lifestyles of the eldritch and the famous. Oh, that's, that guy was shutting your puns down. Yeah, that's... he was. <laughs> I mean, I deserved that. Good. Turn the lights on. Yes. I'm going to do that in every room we yeah. enter in this. <laughs> Layering like this guy. Yeah. Classic 1998. Home sweet home. No, it doesn't look that sweet. No. <laughs> Ooh. Now, I was not expecting that. I, th I thought this might be a... A bit of a first-person jobby, but... Will's bringing back some really good memories. Is he being serious? Because he doesn't look like he has anything but bad memories. We should I like point his out, jacket. It's a nice jacket, yeah. Yeah. I like that they've gone with this 90s look rather than the kind of, you know, moon boot trainers and giant baggy trousers. Hello. Daniel, it's me, Etienne. Hey, we've got a bit of a major emergency going on. A bit, a bit of a major, major, major emergency. Just a standard level of emergency. Friday evening, and there's an emergency? This is serious business. Sebastian Husher is nowhere to be found, and his manuscript should have been at the office by Tuesday. He won't answer his calls, and he hasn't shown up at his office at the university. He's vanished into thin air. I go myself, but I've got to attend Albert's performance in half an hour, in the old housing developments along Highway EB-15. EB-15? Good God, that's out in the sticks. I plan to take a few days off after this. Well, we'll talk about that once you find him. Oh, and if he gives you the manuscript, don't show it to anyone. I wonder why. <gasps> is it because it's evil? Is it evil and tentacly? Or is it just really good? <laughs> it's just a good book. So we should point out that this game had three difficulty settings. Uh, the lowest of which was Mr. James. A bit creepy. The standard setting is uh, Edgar Allan Poe. And the hardest Probably one was H.P. Lovecraft. Awful. <laughs> yeah. Which, that's such a great way of doing it. Also, I would say that Mr. James is quite scary. Oh, he has a... He has a past. Dead wife? Yeah. Oh, divorced wife. Yeah, because okay. he was drinking too much. Okay. We have a traditional detective here. Yeah. They're never well adjusted, are they? No. We? They've seen too much, Matt. They've seen yeah. too much. <laughs> nice. Nice place. Yeah. Definitely doesn't look like the grudge took place there. <laughs> See, my vision of sort of small town America is that all the houses look like that. And, you know. and everything is in connected at the bottom. Yes. So people can run from killers. <laughs> yes. All the rooms fit into each other. I mean, this place could be lovely if you just a bit of time and attention. Bit of a fixer upper. A Friday like any other. Creepy bike. Okay. Tricycle, so, so even creepier. So this is his house. So <laughs> my guess is he's not going to be here. No. And it really scares me that I can only currently walk. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be one of those games that makes you do everything super slowly. But I'm already getting like a good vibe from this. I feel yeah. like a sort of a. Like a Sunday afternoon, mm. fire crackling in the background, like mug there of hot cocoa. Kind of, great. There you go. 
<laughs> oh, I love these bits. Light source. Each character has their own light source. Turn it on and off, press F. Ooh. Once it's on, you can choose the direction in which you want to point the light. Do so use the mouse. This will allow you to illuminate certain areas. Your light source will never run out. Well, that's good. That is good. That's not like a battery in Outlast. I am glad I'm not playing these this. These paintings are depressing. <laughs> I mean, his flat was like depressing 101. I mean, he's depressing. Look at him. A sadness jacket. He's like a, it's a, a good jacket. Yeah, it's a good jacket. Leather ja jackets and games. Jesse Faden and Control has a, a oh, great yeah, leather jacket. Yeah, there we go. Look forward to that as feature in the future. 23 best leather jackets in games. Paul Phoenix, classic mm. leather jacket. This was where the box was. Oh, it was. I tell you what, though, that is some nice plate reflection there. And I don't hand out that kind of compliment lightly. I'm loving the set dressing in this. It's cool. Ooh, it's like your nan's house, that with the frosted glass. Peculiar melody. Is there anything on the back? There's always something on the back. P.S. I've also enclosed the little <laughs> information. P.S. Monsters. To can find you, out about said. You Hang can, on. You can do, do easy. Can I read this? Yeah. Would you be willing to find what some could oh. manage to find? Okay, that's fine. My God, I'd love to be the kind of guy that someone found an evil music box and be like, Matt will solve that. He's the. Matt's the guy for this. He's the evil music box guy. If any of you do have any evil music boxes, please don't send them to me. No. Uh, can you That's go in the door. In the, this is the door? creepy, awful, yeah. boarded up door. That's I fine. wonder who has a door. Who lives behind a door like this? <laughs> also, Louise has a door like that. Don't we all? It's probably fine. <laughs> With all the crosses, the crosses on the walls. wall as well. Yeah. This is very mouth of madness. It Samuel is, isn't it? had them all upside down on his face. Yeah. Oh, well, that's we, me. We're not going that's down me. there. Okay. No. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed that's that. Great. Please subscribe. <laughs> Hardly taken a step forward when I heard the door close behind me. When I turned around, the door wasn't there anymore. Well, uh -oh. that's inconvenient. Well, what if we needed to check some of the rest of the items? Shadow. Yeah, that's the... That's the problem if you haven't <laughs> picked up everything. Yeah. Trapped in this impossible place, I wondered if I was going to die there. Moral of that lesson Don't is go into creepy cupboards. No. Don't go down creepy from, stairs. Yeah. Three days later. Or use some kind of rudimentary wedge to keep the door open. Mm -hmm. So someone else has got to go looking for him as well. Oh, so we're at the third level of detective section right, okay. here. We've been calling him at home all day, but there's no response. Do you know if he's got a mobile phone? No, I, I don't think so. And if he does, he doesn't tend to keep it on him. Oh, man. Well, we're going to have to go back to I the same house. Yeah. And then not get. Don't go in the door. Or oh, well, alternatively, see how many people we can fit into the, the basement of the car. car. Yeah. <laughs> so is she from the nineties as well. Sophie Van den End. Oh, life has put Sophie. So that's the I read about this. So we can, interestingly, now's the time to say that the characters have permadeath. Ah, uh, okay. So we're going to just keep sending people in if we die. Right. Because there's something evil in the house, as we probably know. I love the. Um, so I bet we can choose. I love the, the statistics they've given them, like serenity as a. Light source candle, so that's going to be super creepy. Alexander Laskin, they're housekeepers at the mansion. Right. So he's and not he, peaceful, but he's really strong. He's stacked. And he's got a metal hip flask. This reminds me a lot of, I don't know if you've ever played any of the, um, like the Arkham Horror games. They have like a series of different investigators yes. in, and they all have like similar sort of strengths and weaknesses. But I feel like, I feel like Sophie's going to be the most strong Let's try Sophie yeah. for now. I love that she has a candle. <laughs> like, the candle will be fine. Couldn't you have just stopped off and bought a torch on the way there? Just. I'm using my candle. Don't talk to me ever again. If you get Sophie killed, I'm going to be very disappointed. I'm going to absolutely get Sophie killed. <laughs> so it's doing that interesting fixed camera angle yeah, thing. Yeah, that's a classic horror trick. You have to immediately. Ah, I didn't uh, I investigate that. this, cool. but a newspaper that's been through a storm. I can hardly read a word. Well, I'll try that. I'll do it next time. Are you gonna, are yeah, gonna I'll, do, I'll do the words. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You can you can try Etienne. Oh, Good. Look at this. Good flickering I'm light and atmosphere. Slight um, country vibes from her. Yes. Is there anybody home? Don't ever ask that. No. That is. Oh, I, lo <gasps> I love a top down camera. There are greasy fingerprints all over the glass. What I would say is I feel like this game has just kind of come to life for me. Yeah. Having started this bit. Um, because it was a, a good slow intro, but this, like you say, the fixed camera angles and kind of yeah. flickering candlelight is. 
That is. We didn't go into any of these rooms as him. We were too concerned with. Kind of cool to see a, a protagonist in a game that's a woman over 40 as well. It's, yes. <laughs> it's kind of rare. In the foyer, you won't find me complaining. No, I'm not complaining. Oh, see, this is the. Ooh. This clock is turn of the century. Just lovely, though the time isn't set properly. But it's still ticking. Yeah. I like that she has a different appreciation of clocks. Yes. To, uh... Coat's hung up. Someone must be home. Oh, that's a good camera. <laughs> I should take a look on this floor first. Okay, sure, that's fine. Before we go into the creepy... The bad news is that you know when you do get to go upstairs, things are going to be much, much worse because the game will have prepared something for you. Honestly, who brings a candle to a... <sighs> keep having to remember to breathe. It's one of those. <laughs> it hasn't done anything to you yet either. I know. The worst is yet to come. And from the 1940s. If I had an ink ribbon I could save here. Psycho by Robert Bloch. Enchanting. It's not enchanting we're in the dark with a candle. <laughs> There's nothing enchanting about this. Can you imagine being excited by Psycho while you're creeping around someone's, someone's house looking house for someone candlelight. who's missing, your ex-husband. <laughs> oh, a bear in the big blue house. Enchant oh, I've g it's jammed. I've got to lubricate it somehow. Okay. We need oil. Cool. Use candle wax. That won't work. That will not work. Um, um, was there a kitchen? Right. There will be one, won't there? There will. Well, no, we've got we've got just a, a drawer to room. lubricate, love. We're not just. <laughs> Your ex-husband's gone missing. I'll just sit down and have a read. Yeah, it's fine. I'll relax. I mean, that is all of us, really. We'd like to read, but yeah, maybe not here. If you went missing in in a creepy house, if you got distracted a, by it, and there's a great library. I, I don't know what I do. I just there's historical novels here. I mean, you wouldn't leave. Oh, no. Okay, let's remember how to get to the dark, creepy library with the key in it. Okay, I'll um, I'll try and remember that. How do you feel about walking everywhere? Horrible. I do feel like being able to run definitely kind of turns the tension down a little bit, doesn't it? Because okay, so we've ended up. It feels like a kind of classic kitchen location to me. It's not. So it's not it's a kitchen. Some... It's this room. We've been in this room. We have. And but that... there's what, going to be what something. Does that door... What does this little dot down here mean? I would fit under that table quite easily where I need of hiding. Always useful. Who hasn't looked at a table and, and thought, thought, I could hide <laughs> under that? And so automatically I come in here and I look at this table yeah. and I think every time, I could hide under that. I'm, I'm disappointingly short of hiding places, I think. I rarely look I at a table. I see a curtain and I think maybe someone might not see my feet. <laughs> now this looks like somewhere with crosses on the walls. Yeah. Or is it a pipe? It's a pipe. It's, it's a creepy pipe. pipe. Right. We're fine. Oh, it, there'll it, be oil. It does look quite meat hooky. How can you tell? Because there's a bike. She likes everything. There's going to be something. There we go. I love motorcycles. See? Right. She's going to find like a sort of box of human teeth. Well, I do love teeth. And as long as it's in... <laughs> where's it eat? Boiler functioning. Shut down. Start. In case of... I mean, do, do we want to do that? You will do eventually, won't you? It's gone to electricity. So we can't do anything until we've turned on the electricity. Who among us in games has not restarted a boiler or a generator or... Fuses, look at that. Handy. I'll need the key for that, presumably. Oh, you used a screwdriver to, to undo that screw ah. at the front. Okay. It's a tangled web of horror, isn't it? Like the Scented candles are now in my inventory. Did you bring those with you? And or? the matchbox, so I must have done. I like that they're scented, like... Normal candlelight isn't good enough for me. The no, light no. has to the smell light has nice to smell as good. well. <laughs> Honestly, she's rapidly becoming one of my favourite video game protagonists. <laughs> Who's definitely going to die and be in this game for about 20 minutes, isn't yep. she? But right, there isn't any more in here. No. Is that another door? <sighs> door? What, how does that even work? How does this... How... Who designed this house? Mrs Winchester? Right, so that door goes to... <laughs> I didn't get that trick. Oh, so um, the Winchester Mansion was built by, here's a nice creepy fact for you, um, after her husband 
you know, the man who owned the Winchester Rifle Company, ah, okay. after he died, um, she decided that she was going, being haunted by the ghosts of all the people who had died at the hands of a Winchester Rifle. Wow, okay. And then she redesigned her mansion. So it started out as a nice little house, and then she built floors and lifts and stairs, and she fired lots of people and then brought in other people so that no one knew, and she was getting the ghosts lost in the house. And that's in Santa... It's near San Francisco. That is amazing. Yeah. I love that. There was a Helen Mirren movie called Winchester. It's terrible, oh. but the house itself is absolutely fascinating, and people do tours of it. Door, 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 door. See this? this door. It's like this. She designed this kind of house. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Bottom half of a key. That means somewhere there must be another half of a key. Yes. <laughs> There's a fridge. Let's go in the fridge to find out what creepy things are in the fridge. Creepy video game fridges. Resident Evil has a pretty creepy that fridge. Is a the one in Resident. Yeah. Oh, great! I mean, this is lovely, right? I mean, this well is done, so well done. Congratulations, creepy child. You have drawn something for the ages. Look at that mouth full of teeth. <laughs> Saul, seven. Oh, well done. Great work. I mean, I would. I'd be taking away Saul's black crayon. There. Yes, <laughs> and his red crayon. Yeah. <laughs> he just got green. Oh, what's on the floor? Water. Oh, there's a wire. This is how you die, Louise. Be careful. But we need... Yeah, okay. Sparking. I suppose the electrici electricity isn't on, is it? So... it just sparked. Did it? I think so. Maybe that's why it's gone off. It's shorter. Be careful. I don't... <laughs> You're determined to kill her, aren't you? Hey, look! Hello, what's oil. that? A oil! A rusty can of motor oil. Perfect. Where else would you keep your motor oil than in the larder with the food? Tin is greasy to the touch and almost completely full of oil. Right. Now, now you know, let's pause for a moment, because you know what horror games do? You know what you've done now, don't you? I've got the you thing that the they thing. want me to... Yeah, you have the thing, and the game knows where you've got to go now. Um, and it's probably going to do something horrible. I just want to feel like I need to prepare okay. you as your emotional support human. Okay. Was that? They're introducing a listening at doors mechanic. Brilliant. What was that noise? <laughs> you better take a look before you go back out. To press your ear against a door, walk up to it when you see the listen icon. Press and hold. While you're listening, pay attention to the sounds that come from the other side. What was that? Don't say that. <laughs> we just got to know you. We like you. It seems the coast is clear. Uh, okay, so. From now on, you can listen to what's happening of the other side of unexamined doors. Sometimes you might have the chance to do it with other doors as well, like cupboards and stuff. Oh, pay attention when to the icons. When you're in the cupboard, probably. Yes, when you're near one, use your map to find your word. It records every single place you've been. Excellent. Well, that's good. We have a map. In there. Ah, that is handy. Ah, cool. This is very survival horror. Mm, I'm very into this. Right, so I needed... What did I need? Oh, you need to the, oil I need to go the into the, in the, at the back of the library. Yes. And to get there, I need to go through the living room. How would you feel if someone, you know, a stranger came into your house and <laughs> poured oil on your drawers without your permission? Yes. <laughs> it worked like a charm. <laughs> I'm not going to answer your question. Master key. Looks like an old key. Let's look closely. The keys will open ah, one, more than one. Handy. I was about to say, that's good if they do that. Okay. So, if we look at our map, we have that locked door in this creepy cupboard, mm -hmm. and we've got the one at the back of the kitchen. So, let's go at the, the back of the creepy cupboard, because it's closer to us. I'll carve that on your headstone. <laughs> because that's somewhere near the electricity, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. So... It's nice to have a bit of structure. Let's yes, see. structure, that's what we're looking for, is structure. How are you feeling? You, you, Fine. You doing all right? You hold up. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> the phone. Where is it? Should I answer? Where is the phone? I get answering phones in other people's houses. But where is it? Where is the phone? Um, in this room. Where is the light? Definitely walked past it. They hung up. 
I'd rather not get into anyone's business. Yeah, that's oh, definitely, that's why, definitely we why we didn't answer the phone. It's because we didn't want to pry. Yeah. No, we yeah. didn't want to pry. Not that we were lost in the dark. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like you need a little bit of practice. <sighs> I don't hear anything. I'm sure you'd hear something, like I'm rattling sure of something. chains or dragging yeah, of... that of, would be... Like, axes or something. Oh. Oh. It's a creepy basement. Yeah, it's a creepy, it's basement. A creepy basement. Yeah. This is The Conjuring. That's a very low ceiling as well. <sighs> Did you play Resident Evil 7? Yeah. Do you remember going into the basement, into yeah. the dark, and then the shape that came out? I would not go in that basement for for anyone. With a candle? No. Ooh, a safe riddle. I found riddle. you this note. If you found this note, congratulations. You're one step closer to solving the puzzle I've prepared for you. <laughs> I hope it keeps you entertained. I've hidden your favourite doll in the safe and changed the combination. Since you aspire to becoming a detective when you grow up, I think this is a great chance to put your deduction skills to the test. The number of our street address. Saul's ages. Saul is seven. Seven. We got that. The decade and the year the canvas hanging upstairs right next to the staircase was painted. Oh, that's quite sweet, really. I mean, as okay. sweet as it can be to lock your daughter's favourite toy in a safe. So that's the safe. So we've got... We. Uh, so the document is... Saul's this? age, the decade and year. So it's the single figure and then a single figure. The street address. What's the street address? I felt like it was 15, but it can't be. Can we go outside again? We're going to have to go outside. Maybe it'll say... There's a there's a note. There's a letter outside, wasn't there, that had been out mm. there for a while. I'm fine with that. Ah. The fuses are misshapen. Oh, Ooh. I should have done that. So I need the fuses that were upstairs. Yeah. And you need the screwdriver to open fuses. You still... No. No, thank you. Not no, today. No, not today, thank you. I'll just creep around in this creepy basement without scary noises, thanks. Just, well, it's good to know that the, the fuse box is at the end of a really creepy bit of the basement, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Why are they all, who what? puts them there? That's a, you've got a few options, though. You've got another door you can unlock as well. You need to read the pa painting. Yes. You don't know what you need the doll for yet? No, we don't. Maybe her favourite doll is a screwdriver. Maybe she it is. She just has unusual tastes. Oh, absolutely. Flat-headed screwdriver. <laughs> little flat-headed Annie. With a little Annie. face on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Couldn't afford toys when we were growing up. So, so. we had a screwdriver. <laughs> okay. Oh, use the yeah. key. I know. It, I, use the key. Use, usually, <laughs> games just automatically use the item that is necessary. One of those games is going to make you do everything, isn't it? Right, checking again, just in case that... Just in case the sound of the opening lock. I don't like this room. I don't know why. Is it the sound of the wind that's yeah. scaring you? I used to like climbing into empty wardrobes like this, playing hide and seek as a girl. Oh. This is a horrible room. I, it's, oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Understatement. Um. Sticks. A small pile of logs. Well, we could probably light a match. Yeah. But I don't know if we want to do that here. So I feel like we've got all the information the information that we need to open up the safe is probably within our grasp now, right? Well, I would think so, but we don't have a letter yet. Or the date on... But she might let us go upstairs now that we've yeah. looked all around the first floor. And the, I mean, the game did tell us the, the number of the street. Yep. Eight. It was eight, wasn't it? Was it? One of those things where we should definitely have paid more attention. Yeah. We didn't think we'd be getting a quiz. <laughs> right, and it's this way. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is happening to that door? What is happening to the door? <laughs> what happened there? I don't know. What Which happened door? to the door? Oh, Jesus Christ. I should have been breathing. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Off the back of uh, just a... Examining a dinner service as well. That was really... That was horrible. A mean trick game. You didn't try the steps? Yeah, she no. won't let me. I do like the fact that the clock is now ticking because the, it's as if the house has been fed. Yeah. By Daniel. <laughs> Never thought about it that way, but that is, that is horrible. So we know the painting is by the staircase. It's quite disorientating, isn't it? Is it also, this door? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. 
Unbelievable. Okay. Uh, key? Oh, I have a key. Woo. We never tasted it. No. Uh, Here's your documents. Come on, key. Don't let us down. Good. Good. Now the door is open. Excellent. Great. Because the banging noise really makes me want to know what's on the other side. This is the bad place, isn't this it? This is the bad place. This is where the bad do... Oh, there's a keyboard. Uh, no, keyboard. Keyboard. <laughs> That's a keyboard. Keyboard, screwdriver. Keyboard's the same thing. <sighs> in the place that a keyboard and mouse and type <laughs> turn thing should be. Okay, this is the... Don't Tell me go the... in here. This is... I saw another door yesterday. As I was walking past the dining room, I suddenly heard music from Daddy's music box. When I went in, I saw the door. When I came back, it was gone. She scolded me for making things up. There was an old door here. It even had a key in the keyhole. I will hide the key in the dollhouse and I will hide the five dolls too, even if they get mad at me and I will bring them out when Mummy and Julia forget about the door. One will be hungry, so her friend will make dinner for her. Another one will read while her mum takes a shower. The ugly one will watch the door so nobody comes in. Uh, this is a horrible riddle. <laughs> that is horrible. So I, uh, we need to find the five dolls. Yeah, we know where one is. Right, let's... Um, Open up your special box. Combine with yes. screwdriver. Fuses. Excellent. So we can take them to the to the basement. The basement. Great. Cool. To the back of the basement. Yeah, right to yeah, the back of the basement. Right to the back of the basement. What could have marked up the wall that way? Some kind of demon oh, door, Daniel maybe. Daniel on the other side. <laughs> yeah, he's scratching his way out. Oh. <laughs> Hello. No. No? No. Daniel. Is that you? I don't think it's Daniel. <laughs> oh, E. <laughs> okay. This isn't... I don't like this. <laughs> she's not strong, remember? No, she's... yeah. But she's very stable, though, so hopefully yes. that won't have affected her too badly. Being extra careful. Luckily, you made it this time. You're safe for now, but don't let your guard down. Whatever that was, it could still be lurking. Did you see those hands? They were very handy. Certain events will give you the chance to put your ear to the door in rooms you've already visited. Just remember to be extra careful. Okay. okay. Good advice. Oh, God! What the hell just happened? What was pushing that door? We're not going that way now. No. We're going this way. Every door now is horrible. Yeah, yeah, they're bad Did doors. you ever play the... Well, that's the game telling us upstairs is now Not going. An option. Not going. <laughs> Get your fuses sorted first. Not listening. Not oh. this. <laughs> not listening. Oh, it's Oh, it's the clock chiming. Great. I'm just gonna go through this. I'm just going to go to the creepy basement. I just want to go outside and not come back. <laughs> the fuse puzzle is scary. Oh. Oh. You can expect a jump cut in this section. Any moment. Any minute. <laughs> We're gonna guess again. Okay. It feels like the, the, the 25 should be top. Left? Let's try. I believe it will be fine that way. How does she know that I didn't try any weeny miny mo? Uh, famous last words. That's um, played for and got Louise. Well done. That's a. Uh, for a moment there, everything went out and I'm. Uh, it's some wire. Oh, uh, it's the freaking the the kitchen, right? I have the screwdriver for that. Do you think I can use the screwdriver? Wait a minute. Where's your screwdriver gone? Oh, so that's done. Okay, well, it's I'm going not to have to go upstairs. Let's just try and go upstairs. Yeah, okay, cool, good. In the dark, yeah. because they're not going to want us to go upstairs with the electricity on, are they? No, of course not. That wouldn't be frightening at all. Have to go up by candlelight. Yes. You feeling all right? Yeah, I'm feeling fine. Good, cool. I feel great. I feel real good, really, really good. I'm excited. I'm excited for you. It's, yeah. Uh, Do you want to go upstairs for no, me? No, no. I mean, I'd, okay. like, I think at this point it would just be, you know, inconvenient to sort everything around. There we go, up we go, up the wooden hill. <laughs> Clip-clop. 
It's going to be fine. A whole new floor to play with. There's the painting. Oh, handy. Oh. <laughs> oh, they removed it. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Another part of the riddle. Huh. Jon Snow. So it is. He knows nothing about how to do this. <laughs> the streets are so calm, I wish I was outside. There's something quite reassuring about seeing a police car go by. Was it not a taxi? Maybe it was a taxi. Just a car. Just, just a car, just anything monsters. that's not... Uh -huh. So the others? <laughs> We sit at the back. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Is it, is it? Oh! <laughs> okay. Make it stop. Just Make gonna, it stop. Make it stop. Make it back. <laughs> Peek a boo. <laughs> Oh, gosh. That's horrible. Yeah, it's giving me indigestion. <laughs> Would you like a rainy? Um, yes, please. Parapsychological rainy. <laughs> uh, well, you looked at it. Honestly, put the warning the on the front bonfire. of The golden bonfire. Great. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, Crikey. Oh, where did this weird black stuff come from? Not ventilating your house properly. It's uh, classic mould. Could get rid of it with neat bleach. Yeah. Um, either that or it's just liquid undefined evil, um, which you can't get rid of with bleach as far as I'm aware. Oh, a whole new creepy corridor. Oh, wow, this is a quite well, woman in blackie, isn't it? Nice. Uh, no. What's the that? whole layout of this house is... A remote control. Okay, sure. Cool. Can I... Real. Excellent. Sit down in the nice chair. Lovely armchair. Stop saying lovely. Things aren't lovely in this house. If you need a place to hide. Oh, I don't want places to hide. <laughs> Your tote's going to need a place Reference to hide. Books of old. Um. Nope. Cool. I'll just get through that door. It's pretty fun. I've seen Silent Hill. I've played Silent Hill. That Is didn't work well with... Um, is that just creepy radio noise? It's a broken key. So do we think I can use my key with the broken key? I'm not sure that's how that's definitely metal how things works, work. but uh -uh. oh, oh, yeah, glue. That's what we need. See, just need some glue. Yeah, just some glue. Some Pritt stick. That's what we need. <laughs> oh, we're outside. Lovely. It's a it's a nice view. I mean, it's a oh romantic happy anniversary. Why is the candle lit, Matt? <laughs> oh, great! Another creepy bathroom. Cool. Got some horrible flannel. Even dry, it smells like a cesspool. Is it something under it? That's quite. <laughs> uh. oh, it's. But it's quite satisfying, that. Looks, it's kind of like an octopus. Right? Yeah, tell you what, like... Creepy in, ghost sheet, right. In terms of good flannel physics, I think that's... Yeah, that's the winner. Maybe and you could... Could you, like, use the rag on the trapdoor? On door? the water? Water, yes. Down the there stairs? There you go. Right, good let's flannel. go and do that. Well, they flannel. said they must have cleaned up a lot of water with these things. Yeah. So if we there. manage to get the electricity on, that would be nice, wouldn't okay. it? If we can do that, if we'll, we can we'll do probably that, end we'll there. Because our nerves can't take much yeah. more, and neither can you. And if we die, you know, by accidentally electrocuting ourselves while cleaning up a puddle, then uh, that's the way it ends. That's... Uh, I thought oh. the electricity was off. Go for it. Flannel time. Dishcloth. Dishcloth. Yeah. Bye bye, bye puddle. Bye, puddle. <laughs> so do we think I need to go back into the basement? So I think, can, is there anything else to check there? Like can you, is, is the wire now no, fixed? There was, yeah, there was nothing. Okay. There so, was no dot, yeah. so we're gonna need to go back I think that was the thing that was shorting it. So. Yeah, so we can go back into the basement. Back to the basement, lovely. Into the horrible basement. I love that we've been doing so much so peacefully that a fan going off really. Yeah. 
I do like that though. I think that's the thing some horror games get wrong is they throw too much big stuff at yeah. you too early. So it like, keeps you quiet. This keeps you nice and quiet. Yeah. So that when something big happens, like paranormal activity, a door slams, you go insane. Yeah. Oh, I'll do with the footsteps and paranormal activity. Oh, because it has absolute, to build up to that, yeah. doesn't it? The build up, because you think, where can it go? And then it goes to that. And if you've ever lain in bed at night Thinking and thought about, about it. footsteps, there's nothing worse. Yeah, don't think about what can happen in your room and paranormal activity. Bing! Excellent! Oh. Well, we have light. Lovely. And creepy music. Well, it's not a particularly Finally. scary place. Daniel, if you're here... To end on. I'm going to find you. Um, but no. I think it might be the right spot for it us, is. just because we've been at it a while. We have. Um, but if you do want to see more of it, please do let us know, let us and know. we will uh, play the next bit. Because I actually, I'm quite into this. I yeah. quite, like, quite like how low key it is. It's um, it's good fun. So yeah. But yeah. Let us know what you think. Whether you think it's creepy in the comments below. Drop us a like if you enjoyed this let's play and subscribe to Logitech G for more let's plays just like this one. If you do already subscribe, which we really really appreciate, even though he's here with his bell awakening all that jazz, <laughs> uh, please do, and then you'll know when our next video lands. <laughs>